Hey guys, Mike Taylor, aka Battleship Cobra here. I'm back from a short staycation, and nobody is going to see my tan. It looks pretty good. You can see I have the sunglasses here. I got the nose tan, but my arms, a little, it's hard to tell. I'm a little bit nice and, I'm a little bit nice and tanned, but nobody's going to see it because I spend 99% of the time in my basement. Today we're going to talk about a little topic that's kind of niche, but if you've ever had to reinstall the server tools on a live system, you know that it can be a pain to remember who had what licenses. I'm going to show you a trick where you can take a file that has all of SAP's references to be a quick reference for you so that when you go to restart that server tools, you'll at least know which users had which licenses. So in the case that you have a whole bunch of users, you don't need to write them down. In the case that your SLD completely malfunctions, you can pull this file and you can save it, reinstall your server tools, boom, you're good to go. You'll, you'll have to manually reassign them. You know, come to think of it, I don't, I don't know if I've never, I don't know if I've ever actually replaced this file after doing the server tools. I usually just filter and set everything manually, but that, if somebody thinks about that, they could try it. So for this, I'm just gonna show you where the file is. It's still really useful. Especially if you end up uninstalling the server tools and then forgetting to write down who has what license, you don't have to go to the customer and say like, oops, I needed to reinstall the server tools because the SLD was crashing. I mean, they'll be aware that the SLD was crashing if it was a major error like that. But at least, you know, when you recover it, you can have saved this file and you can know who has what without having to manually write everything down. If you want to support me, like, subscribe, share this video with other consultants, share it with your customers if you feel comfortable, and hit that notification bell if you don't come back to YouTube that frequently. If you click the notification bell next to the subscribe button, uh, it'll send you an email every single time that I make a video. I make videos Mondays, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every week, so check those out. You want to be subscribed. And thank you very much for that. So let's jump into looking at the file, where it is and how I usually find it. So here you have your normal SAP. You have modules, administration, license, license administration. And you can see that you have all your components and you do have assignments here. If you manage to copy this, you can copy it. But if you don't want to do that or you have multiple databases, you can copy this file and it'll give you the reference information for all of these users. And it's a good way to just copy it, especially if your SLD is down and you can't get in here to get the assignments, the file will still have those assignments, very useful. The other thing this is very useful for is if you've lost a license, and believe it or not, people have lost licenses. They might have been in one database with a user, assigned that user a license, and then maybe they deleted that uh, database. Well, that license would be stuck in the SLD and you wouldn't be able to recover it. But using this file will show you all of the licenses that SAP has, has assigned and you can get that license back. So believe it or not, the file name is b1upf.xml. It's, it's b1up, but it's not related to b1up. So where do you find it? Normally you're gonna find it here. C, Program Files, x86, SAP, SAP Business One, Server Tools, License, HEDBS, Web Apps, LIB. And I will link that in the description below because obviously I said it really quick and you want to use it as a reference anyways. So you're going to find the file here, b1up.xml. Um, you can right click and you can just open it. It gives you some information. This is very difficult to read, I find. So if you right click and open it with Excel, or I'll just go Excel. For some reason it doesn't show up in my right click open with menu. And I click b1up. F.xml, open it as an XML table, blah, blah, blah. And you'll see here now that you can filter by user. The only one who I should have on here, doo -doo 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 -doo, manager. And then you can see manager has a professional user assigned. And you could just filter here just for, say, you want to see all the SAP Pro users. Boom. And then you can see this here. So you can see professional, assigned to manager, and then you would know that the manager, and you could filter this for a professional, and then just, I filtered for this user, but you can, I mean, if I unfiltered that, I would show everybody, but you know what I mean? 
You can filter for the user and you have a very quick and easy reference. Again, even if you can't get into SAP, maybe something went down and you don't want to reassign everything. Another quick way to find this file is to use search everything. So I use this tool called void tools, search everything or everything search. You can just download this. You don't have to install it. It's a portable zip uh, extract there and you can just run it and it searches everything. I find Windows search does not do a great job. It doesn't search in all the places and this has saved me so many times looking for different files. So you download everything. I have it installed because I do use it all the time. I run it and then I'm going to paste b1upf.xml. It's updating the location where everything is and it'll show you where it is. So it's in a couple different places and including on my desktop. And so that was really easy for me to find. So I copy that and boom, you have a nice little reference. This has saved me more than one time and it's useful to have in your back pocket. Again, typically when server tools die. So that's it for today. I hope you've liked this video. Again, subscribe, like, share it if you want. Definitely click the notification bell. If you don't come back to YouTube all the time, it'll suggest my, it'll send you an email with my video. Every time I make them, I make new videos weekly, Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope to see you again. Thank you very much for all the support. Check out my other videos. See you soon.